Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Disney All-Stars Legacy Challenge. It has been so long since I've said these words and I'm so excited to be back. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't been uploading at all, neither on YouTube nor on Instagram or TikTok. I had to take a little bit of an unexpected break, but I'm glad to be back glad to be filming this video today but since it's been so long I'm a little bit rusty I have not touched this game at all not in this save file not in any other save file so um, I'm already having some problems navigating but I should be back to normal after this episode I hope so please forgive me if I'm a little rusty also with my English but I'm trying really hard also I'm not sure exactly where we left off I remember that Alex is pregnant we can tell girl Girl. she is gonna be in the second trimester in two days so she's not that far ahead and we don't know yet if it's gonna be a girl but I hope it's gonna be a girl I hope it's gonna be our Lizzie and she's standing in the garage in the boys' garage I renovated this but I don't remember if I showed you guys already because I did this before my break definitely it's been really long since I've decorated this um but yeah I redecorated the garage <laughs> Let's start with that. I wanted it to still look and feel like a garage and kind of messy. Two boys are going to be living here and this is going to be Javon's bed and his little setup and everything. And then upstairs is Matt's place. I'm not 100% happy with it. I feel like it needs some more decorating, but I think it looks pretty cool already, if I do say so myself. And I feel like you can definitely tell the vibes of each boy. So that's the that how are our boys this is Javon in case you don't remember he's Brad's son and he's a teenager and we already played a little bit of the high school pack with him and he does have the best-selling author aspiration so maybe we can work on that today what are his traits again he's a kleptomaniac oh I remember he's socially awkward he's a muser also sinister and an artist. Why don't you like practice your writing? You can stay in your old room for now. I'm still not sure when they're gonna be moving to the other room. Maybe when Matt becomes a teenager. Don't know when that is gonna be, but let's practice writing. Matt, where are you? You're watching TV, of course you are. Oh, you still have some time, 12 days, but I feel like maybe I'm gonna have him age up before that. I mean, it would be cute if he was still a kid when Lizzie is born, so they can maybe even play together for some time before he ages up. I don't know. We could also work on Alex's aspiration, actually. She needs to sell three paintings to collectors or art gallery. Where is her easel? Over here. Oh, she already started something. Let's resume that painting. And Brad is playing foosball, of course. Um, he also wants to work out, so after you're done, you could just go for a jog maybe have everyone do their own thing kind of oh justin is here hey i got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor you're not our neighbor don't you live still on campus are you done with uni i don't know is he done with uni i thought he was still living in brightchester oh he has a gift for us what did you get uh starter fruits okay maybe he knows that alex wants to uh start gardening well we already have some stuff but maybe she wants to plant some grapes don't know why she would want to do that but why not oh you also have a dragon fruit you can plant that as well and i don't think we have that much space for trees so we're not gonna plant those oh my god those stairs are still there when i was <laughs> renovating the garage i wanted to do stairs at first but there just wasn't enough space so let's get rid of those thank you oh matt just went up to javon and sat in his room i want these two to be really close because i love how different they are but i feel like they could still be best friends and become even more like brothers they can also bond over making fun of their parents and how cute they are well they're not cute to them but they're cute to me oh matt can already start giving javon social advice because javon is socially awkward but matt is a social butterfly so he's gonna tell him that it's okay to be a little awkward and that he shouldn't be ashamed of it 
I think that's so adorable. Oh, and Alex just finished a masterpiece. You go, girl. Well, I don't know if I would call that a masterpiece, but uh, we can sell that to an art gallery. Yes, we want to do that. And also just do another one. Confident painting, why not? Justin, are you just by yourself watching TV? Well, you can also talk to the boys a little bit more or talk to uh, Brad, why not? He's on his phone. He just came back from his run. Oh, Brad wants to talk to the other boys as well. Oh my God. <gasps> You dislike writing? Well, usually I like to say yes, because if the characters decide that for themselves, but I think it's just because he's uncomfortable because he has to pee. Yeah, that doesn't count. Just go to the bathroom. Come on. Brad, you should talk to your brother-in-law or future brother-in-law. They haven't even gotten married yet, did they? Him and Alex? Oh my God, how do I not remember that? No, they're just boyfriend and girlfriend. You guys, we still need to propose. When should we do that? I mean, she's pregnant right now i don't know if it's the best time to make decisions like that but i mean they're gonna have a kid together they live together they have a house together i don't think they're gonna have a huge wedding but i still want to have a wedding should we wait until lizzie is born i think so if that is lizzie we still don't know if we're getting a girl but i hope so because i don't want another kid uh, we don't really have the space for that and who are you beverly hi uh do we know each other already apparently oh yeah yeah we do we do it's just that outfit that I didn't recognize. Looks interesting. Oh, and Alex is feeling sick. But she finished another painting. Let's also sell that one. And now she wants to complete three emotional paintings. Well, you already did one, so let's do another one. And then you're gonna have to get some food. And there have been multiple game updates since I played for the last time, but I haven't seen anything new yet. Um, did they fix the social bunny app? Because that thing was broken. Liana wants to have lunch. I would love to come. Um, Max wants to hang out. Yes, why not? Uh, my mom is calling me bestie again. Our little sister wants to hang out as well. Um, Samuel is still bitter. If he wants to be, he should be. I don't know how he's doing. Oh my god, we still have a romance bar with him. I should probably get rid of that. <gasps> Wait, is it because of some update? Why, guys, why does Alex think he's very unattractive? She used to think that he was so attractive. What happened? Does she th still think that Brad is attractive, though? <gasps> no, she thinks he's very unattractive as well. I think I have to fix that because she used to be really into them. Like, both of them. What does she think about Callan? Also unattractive. Girl, what happened? You were in love with all of these men. Ah, uh, I don't I don't know is there anyone she thinks is attractive no is she into girls now no opinion uh, no that's her sister liana no she is into guys still i'm pretty sure i don't know maybe it's because of an update with the wonderful whims mod i don't know but that's weird she should think that her boyfriend and also her ex-boyfriends are kind of attractive. At least not very unattractive. Uh-oh. But let's get some leftovers. Everyone's already like having food by themselves, doing their own thing. That's okay, I guess. Where is Brad? He's just standing there awkwardly for whatever reason. He wants to level up his fitness skill and he wants to go on vacation to Granite Falls. I feel like that sounds like a really nice idea, but I don't know if we should do it right now since we're having a baby soon. Oh, maybe you should tinker. <gasps> Prom is starting! What? What? Should we go? Uh, I mean, why not? Let's travel to prom with Javon. I was not ex I was not expecting that. I totally forgot about prom and we didn't like do any preparations. Do we have a date? I don't think so. Did we agree to go as friends with somebody? I don't remember. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I remember that I um, gave us this really nice location. Love that. And that's the principal she's the chaperone we're gonna talk to her a little bit because we don't have any friends oh let's ask our principal for social advice that's really cute let's see if she can give any to us oh okay that did not go too well no one likes us he wants to take a picture in the photo booth we can do that he wants to chat with dario and he wants to read a book at prom because he's so different <laughs> let's take a normal photo just by yourself because 
Again, you don't have a lot of friends. Is there anyone we know? <gasps> we don't know anyone? Oh, why aren't our like school people here with us? Our school people? Our school people? Our classmates, I mean. He doesn't know anyone. How? Okay, did we get a cute picture at least? I think so. Okay, this girl came up to us, Brooklyn. Let's do a friendly introduction because she seems to not have any friends as well. Hi, Brooklyn. Oh, she doesn't like us. She doesn't like us. Oh, girl. He thinks she's interesting, but she thinks he's weird. Everyone thinks he's weird. Oh, life is hard when you're a teenager, especially when you're socially awkward. Let's discuss interests. Oh, Lord. I wish we knew somebody. What do we have? We have a boba bar that doesn't have a vendor. Okay. Um, no one's dancing or anything. Everyone's just in the foyer. Oh, yay. We can also vote for prom royalty. Should we do that? Oh my god, let's vote to Brooklyn because she's the only person who talked to us. And maybe he likes her. I actually thought maybe um, he likes Dario, but Dario's not here. I would have loved to like try and dance with Dario, but since he's not here and Brooklyn seems nice, we're gonna try being her friend. Oh, she's alone again. You see that? <gasps> Okay, let's ask about her day. Like, hey girl, are you not having a good time? She wants to sit alone over here. Poor thing. Maybe she's just as awkward as we are. And she's disappointed. Girl. Let's tell her how pretty she looks. Like, I can tell you got all dressed up. Don't be disappointed. You can still have a great time. Okay, she did not like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, we can give her a heartfelt compliment. Oh wait, the ceremony is starting. The ceremony is starting let's go and sit over here or wait no watch award ceremony oh no and now he's embarrassed awkward encounter i'm sorry brooklyn are you coming dude <gasps> yes she's prom queen she got prom queen and she's so happy Aw, and who is he? Roger Medina? She's so happy. Do you see that? Let's give her a heartfelt compliment now. Congratulations to winning prom queen. Cute. Oh my god, the time is already up. I wanna take a picture with her. Uh, take photo with... Friendly photo with Brooklyn before uh, prom is over. Why is it so short? I need it to be longer. We didn't even dance or anything. There was absolutely no time for that. But is she gonna wear her crown on that picture? Because that's really cute. Aww. Prom unsuccessful. Well, that's not my fault. And now we're going home. Oh, let's keep this party going. Want to come to the after party? Yes, with friends. Brooklyn, you have to come as well. I just want to make sure that she actually comes. Why do I know so many people? Do I actually know these people? No. What? Here she is. Brooklyn is coming as well. Where is the after party? Is it here on this lot or somewhere else? Oh no, it's at the pier. Okay, okay. Brooklyn is wearing her crown and everyone's in their like regular outfits. Oh, I love this outfit he's wearing. So cute. Brooklyn definitely needs a makeover. I love her hair, but that outfit is not it. Not it. Where's the girl that invited us? I think it's her. Dana. We should also like give props. Thanks for inviting us you're cool and maybe joke about acne oh and brooklyn came over to us she didn't want to be left out or is she like jealous right now she has such a pretty face though look at her can have a deep conversation i don't know what kind of after party that is though because like it's kind of lame and it's also raining uh do y'all want to go on any rides or we could do the haunted house ride with dana Oh, we can only pick one. No, I don't want to leave Brooklyn. That's so mean. We're gonna chat just a little bit and then we're gonna go home because honestly, it's kind of lame and it's raining and I don't really see the point in staying here any longer. And Brooklyn, why are you still disappointed? You won prom queen and you looked really pretty and you met Javon. Why are you sad and pouting? Look at her. What's wrong? She has such pretty eyes. <laughs> oh man oh man 
Okay, let's finish this talk and then we are gonna go home and call it a night. Good morning in the morning. Siobhan is having some breakfast and he is super uncomfortable because he's hungry and smelly. So after he's done, I'm gonna let him take a shower. Other than that, he doesn't really feel anything. Apparently prom didn't have a huge impact on him. I was kind of expecting more, not gonna lie. But that's what we're dealing with right now. I'm gonna check if there are some mods to make prom better. And in the meantime, I want to look at uh, the picture he took with Brooklyn. It's really cute. Let's add a frame. Uh, maybe some dark wood. Yes, that's nice. And, this, and then there's also this one he took by himself. Cute. I'm so glad they added the photo booths. Such a cute way to make memories and just have some cute pictures of your sims. This was kind of a slow episode just to ease back into making content but i really hope you enjoyed it in the next episode we're gonna get the ultrasound taken and we're gonna find out if we're gonna have a girl or a boy and i'm super super excited about that you can already let me know if we have a girl should we call her lizzie or elizabeth and then lizzie as a nickname i'm fine with either let me know what you think i thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>